What's up all you beautiful people? Today we are going to be starting a new series on my channel for the first time ever. I made a new team, an expansion team for the NBA. So we're going to be doing an NBA My League. And as you can see here, the team I created, they're called The Bombers, which is actually a team from like 60 years ago that used to reside in St. Louis. So I've resurrected them. I even used kind of their logo, but revamped it for what I need. And we're using them and they move towns, they move cities, and they're revitalized, they're coming back. So they're called the Bombers. We're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you what their name is, what their logo is, what their arena is, their jerseys. We're gonna go through all of the branding stuff, all of the team stuff like that. And then we're gonna build our team probably in the next episode. This episode is gonna be solely dedicated to the branding and getting your guys' opinion. So I go through the city, we are in Columbus, Ohio, we're bringing a team back to Ohio to join the Cavaliers and they're probably going to be our rivals. So as I said, we're called the Bombers, metro population of Columbus is 1.9 million and our metro income is 114 million. We're kind of average for the most part in population and median income and our fan interest is pretty low. So in Ohio, you have to win, you have to win big, especially in Columbus, this is a football town. So we're going to go downtown, and our attendance is three star, our operating costs about two and a half, and our arena upgrade costs are three. So we're going to be in Columbus, and here's our logo, the Columbus Bombers. I think that's pretty sick. I took the time, as I said, I used the St. Louis Bombers logo from way in the past and tried to revamp it and try to recreate it, but for like modern day. So our team colors in Ohio, in Columbus, there's the Blue Jackets. That's our only sports team. That's their only sports team. And the Blue Jackets, they use a kind of like a navy blue base with a cream sort of color. Among other colors, because they have alternate jerseys, of course. But I wanted to have that blue color. I wanted to have that cream sort of color. And our secondary color is going to be an orange. And I think the, that combination is going to be sick. So I'm going to keep that. There's our identity, which is obviously Columbus Bombers. Our COL is an abbreviation. And that sets up all of our team branding stuff. I've already gone through and created everything, edited everything to where I can show you guys what's going on. So let's look at our arena. Our arena in Columbus, I just stuck with where the Jackets play. They play at Nationwide Arena, and that's where we're going to play. We're going to play in Nationwide. And here is the capacity. It's around 18,500 actually at the arena. So I tried to make it as close and realistic and resemblant as possible to that. But this is the arena I created. You know, I like that sick Bombers logo in the middle and of course the nationwide. The other kind of logo that we're gonna have is that little C right there. I kind of copied the Cavaliers a little bit, but redesigned it for what I want. And that curved sign of kind of E looking C is really sick. Now what I wish they would do in, in the next NBA game is make it to where that Columbus Bombers on the side Maybe make that more customizable because if you go here and you go to court floor and if we go to that text on the edge, you can't really do much with it besides make it like a certain color and maybe change the font. I wish you could do more with that. Maybe make an outline, maybe stroke the Columbus Bombers and have like a different outline to it. That'd be pretty sick. And it's pretty much like that around the floor basically. You can't really change much besides adding your logos in specific spots. So I really wish you, wish you could customize that more. The Jumbotron up top, we have package number two, Jumbotron number five, and we have a sick background. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Scores table coming up. So we have three images. Of course, I added my own image in there. Stay frosty, as always. And then the Gatorade, some of the other like customizable ones that the community has already added. The only one I really added that I made myself is that one, which I think is pretty cool. So backing out of this, seating is not really interesting. All you can do is really just change the color. So that's fine. And then everything else, I didn't really add any sound effects. Though I could add the long siren or a bomb effect. But going through the game, that would be so annoying. And I really don't want to do that. I don't really have to like shoot three pointers. And then all of a sudden hear an explosion and a long siren effect. That would be so lame. But one take quick look around. One quick take of the floor. And I'm going to go slowly pan around. Let me know if you think I should change anything in there. I haven't really done this before, so I'm not exactly sure if you can go through during the season and maybe make updates to your arena 
or maybe change the floor plan and all that stuff. So let me know what you think about that and let me know what you think about my logo so far. The next thing which I'm really not sure about and I really think I might have to change and tweak as we go is the jerseys. Because the jerseys I created, there's not really much of an option to like change the lettering, change the font, because I kind of want to make it like curved. But there's my home jersey. It kind of looks like a little bit, kind of like a Warriors jersey with the colors. And that's not what I was going for, but it's really like retro with how like the, especially the top, the top jersey part, kind of retro, but I like it. It's not that bad. I added a different, uh, two different layers. So there's a white layer, a cream layer, and at the bottom of the bombers is an orange layer to try to make it look a little bit 3D and give it a little bit more pizzazz. And our away jerseys, I definitely like our away jerseys too. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, let me know if there's anything here that I should change and I should update and maybe tweak a little bit. So I'm going to abort those changes. And what we're going to do now, since we've already created our expansion team, I'm going to click advance. What we're going to do is we're going to go to setup options. I do want 82 games. I want about 10 minutes of a quarter length because I feel like that's more realistic to my play style. I do want a fantasy draft, draft order. See, enabling this allows you to customize draft order. No, we're just going to have that off. Serpentine, choose whether you would prefer a serpentine or a fixed draft order. Eh, let's just go with that. Player pool, all NBA teams, of course. And let's see, let's go back up here. Auto save is on. We have all that checked. I can play with the sliders. I do want the seller cap on. 94 million. Okay, inflation rate is 50. Hard cap. Let's see, is there anything else that we need? Recently, rookie sign trade override. I don't want trade overrides. I do want CPU trade over or offers on and CPU trades. Trade approval is off. Trade frequency is about 50%. That's fine. And I think we're pretty good. The main thing I wanted to have turned on is that fantasy draft because that's how we're going to go through this. We're going to have a fantasy draft. So we're going to be the Columbus Bombers. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, what we're going to do is we are going to take the time to complete the fantasy draft and actually start a my league a my gm whatever you want to call it with this new team recreated i'm super excited about this as always leave some comments down below on what you think i should do who you think i should get stay frosty remember i love you and i'll catch you next time